Hello, I'm Isaac. I run Slickby's Mods and Repairs, a worldwide electronics modifications and repair workshop based out of Southern California. I work on a wide variety of devices such as GPUs, laptops, phones, but my most popular devices that I get brought in or mailed in are gaming handhelds, especially for gaming handheld RAM upgrades. And for the past two years, nearly every day, I've been asked if I can upgrade the memory inside of somebody's Steam Deck OLED. Now, the answer has always been the same. No, it's not quite possible yet. The, the higher density chips can't be purchased. Uh, once it's possible, I will update my socials and post a video showcasing the process. Well, I'm happy to say the upgrade is finally possible. And if you'd like to get it done to your Steam Deck OLED, feel free to shoot me a message through my site. You can even shoot me a text or give me a call. Pricing for this service is undetermined, so I'd like to get your thoughts on what you think I should be charging for it. The chips cost me about $110, so keep that in mind. If any Steam Deck or gaming handheld content creators want to reach out and get their Steam Deck OLED upgraded to run some before and after benchmarks, I'd be happy to work out a deal with you. And so all that being said, the upgrade process begins by removing the backplate and extracting the motherboard. I've got the board preheated to about 130, 150C. As for my air nozzle, I'm at about a little less than halfway of the max in terms of airspeed, and the temperature is at 350C. With the chip removed, I can install it onto the USB programmer, and then from there I can dump the BIOS, find the APCBs, and then alter the SPD data so that the system can make use of the full memory. Now with this tri-panel setup, we got on the top left, Neo Programmer. This is the software that the USB programmer uses to dump, erase, and write to the BIOS. On the right, we have I'm Hex, a hex editor program. 
And on the bottom left, we got Windows PowerShell. That's where we're going to be running the 95 Jake APCB checksum fix script. With the BIOS dumped, we can take that data into IMHEX, search for the APCBs, there's going to be two, and then we locate the chips we have installed on the motherboard. That's going to be this specific set of bytes. The particular SPD edits I made were actually the same edits that were made on the Legion Go. I used my video from two years ago as a reference. You can find the values here. Here I am isolating the APCB and I'm hex. You can copy a section and even create an open selection view of it. With our APCB isolated, we can go ahead and make use of 95Drake's APCB checksum fix script. It's going to generate an output file that's going to be the checksum fixed APCB with our edits. We take this modified APCB and then we inject it into the two spots in our stock Steam Deck's BIOS. With the BIOS modified to recognize the extra memory, we can go ahead and wipe the data off the chip. With the chip wiped, we have a clean slate that we can now write the modified BIOS onto. Once the BIOS has been written with the modified 32GB RAM BIOS, we can go ahead and reflow the BIOS chip back onto the board and pay everything back together. The OLED deck does require having the charger replugged back in in order to boot. Once that's reconnected, it'll take about a minute and 10 seconds for the memory to retrain. I am now accepting orders for this worldwide, so if you'd like to get this done to your Steam Deck, feel free to message me through my website. With all that being done and said, that concludes the upgrade process.